five in a row, do you need to talk to the boys about keeping the guard up and re- avoiding any risk of a drop off? Um, well, not really. We've, you know, we've tracked along each week, and we we probably s- still have more in the tank. I think the players are the ones who are looking to improve every week. So we're in a really good spot. We're winning games of football, but we still feel like we've got so much more improvement in us. Um, tough call on Tringo. He seems like a real figure around the around the um, club, and he's done a, he's done well over the last few weeks. Yeah, you don't get many more popular than Jack and. And he's played really well for us. He's, um, he's played an important part in our back six. Um, this week's a tough one because we've had a, a number of th- you know, incidents come up. We had Jonas going out of the side. Um, you know, he's a, he's a bit of a rock back there for us. So we wanted to get our balance right. Um, part of that is bringing in guys that are in good form. So Carl Amon came in. We can't question what he's been doing over the last month with his football. Um, it's probably one of our strengths at this point is the fact that we've got guys pressing from, from below keeping our alpha guys on edge. Um, so Carl came in, gave us a little bit more speed around the footy, and then allowed us to make some other moves to get a, a really good balance behind the ball. Does the grant have any bearing on selection at all in terms of how you want to play? Um, probably, probably a, it's a small factor in it, yeah, but, and probably the opposition as well. You know, we always look at what we're coming up against. and um, We like to have speed on the ground. We like to have run in our team. Um, that's no matter where we play. But, but coming into this week, it was a focus of ours to, to get a little bit more speed in, especially through through the midfield and in around the ball. And that's where Carl, um, that's one of his strengths. So that's why he came into the side. Just one on uh, Homshi. He's um, been playing good footy, comes in at the expense of Jonas. Uh, what do you expect from him? Same as we get every time with Homshi. He, and that's why he's come in. He's, uh, you know, he's disciplined, he's unconditional. He's uh, the sort of player that you... You'd love to play every week. Uh, at this point, the backs are playing really well and performing well. Now he gets his opportunity. Unfortunately, because we lose, um, you know, our best back, our, one of our real strong leaders. But um, we're really confident we'll, we'll get a, a strong Jack Holmes in, and he'll fill the void. In about a month or so, when Jonas comes back into selection calculations, do you envision a? a team that can have both Homsch and Jonas playing together, do you think? Well, we've seen it. I mean, we have played that. Um, it's probably not just those two. It's probably more than that. I mean, we look at six or seven that, that sort of rotate through our back six. Um, and it, the balance of that's really important. Um, if it's Jack and Jonas, you know, you've also got Howard, who's, who plays a little bit taller uh, with some speed. So depending on who else is in the squad at that point in time, um, you know, if you've got a, a Burn Jones who's, who's back down around there and Pittard's up and going, um, then you know that changes everything. So it's not so much only about Jonas and Homsch. Um, they're two super experienced players and have played a lot of footy together, so they really do connect well. Um, so those two playing together isn't an issue at all. How happy are you at the moment with the, I guess you've probably got 28 or so players who could be in the AFL team at the moment. How happy are you to have more than just 22 who can go out and perform with you know that wider selection pool? Oh, it's, it's where you want to be, isn't it? Like, you want to have that pressure coming from underneath. and. If you don't have that there, and you and you have, uh, you know, injuries like like we have this week, um, then you start scraping the barrel, a little, and you're bringing guys in who you know can play. You, the, every guy on our list can play footy. Um, it's just a matter of whether they're whether they're ready. Um, last thing you want to do is bring someone in that's not ready, uh, and then their form drops off even further. Uh, they don't quite fit in and connect up with the side. Um, at the moment, we're really confident that the guys that we're bringing in, so Carl Amon, you know, Jack Homsch, these players. Um, they're going to fit into the system that we play um, and hopefully seamlessly that they'll, they'll just come in and play their role for us. Does that put a bit of pressure on, a bit more pressure on everyone to keep the standard as high as possible? Yeah, and that's exactly what it does. You know, there's, if you feel like your spots, if you're not going to play your role for the team, that your spot might be in jeopardy after a couple of weeks, then that's, that can only be a good thing. You know, players playing on edge, wanting to perform for their teammates or for the, for the club, that's, that's what we're about.